Diamonds are a great example of, uh, of how desire has been manufactured. Again, the most important thing to know about diamonds, there's two, there's two major myths. The first myth that, about diamonds is that diamonds are rare, and they're not. Diamonds are really common, and their value does not come from their scarcity. And the, the 20th century, in fact, has been the story of how diamonds have been restricted from entering the market. The second myth about diamonds is that you know, they're connected in some intrinsic way you know, to love and to marriage and to courtship. And again, this is uh, a story that was, uh, that was created around 1947 when someone, when a, a copywriter at the NWA's advertising agency on, in Madison Avenue, not far from here, um, came up with a slogan, a diamond is forever. Uh, and that, 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 that the, the diamond is forever was an attempt to make diamonds a mass consumer item. And you say that now that the diamond is forever has been seen as being the, like, the quintessential thing an ad should live up to? Um, well, the, the Diamond is Forever has been identified by the advertising industry as the most important marketing campaign, the most effective marketing campaign of the 20th century. So people started saying, well, if I buy a diamond, the diamond means I love you. And the more I spend, I love you that much more. Is that what it was? <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the campaign actually had two goals. Okay. Uh, the campaign had, they wanted for women, they wanted to instill the idea that diamonds were a necessity for marriage and courtship. And for men, they wanted to instill the idea that the bigger the diamond, the greater the love. The problem with that is, what about all those poor you know, working class people who you want to get in the market, but who can't afford the really high end ring? Mm -hmm. So they came up with this, it's absolutely a brilliant strategy. They came up with this, the two month salary guideline. So it all becomes a relative thing. So even if you're, you know, even if you're not a millionaire, if you spend two months of your salary on a diamond, it means it shows how much you, you love the person you're going to marry. It was a brilliant, brilliant strategy. I mean, yeah. they, again, they, they, managed, you know, they managed to convince men, you know, some, some men, to go into debt to buy these worthless things that they have billions of sitting in warehouses. And the beers was able and to. And I love it. you so much, I'm going into debt for you and yeah. for us. Yeah. Yeah. And most probably will still be paying off the debt when they get divorced in you know, two or three years' time. <laughs> <laughs> the other idea That's of. That's the American dream. <laughs>